What's going on guys? It's OmniArc and today I'm bringing you a brand new video where my city got rallied by a 110 million power player. So in this video, we're going to be watching the footage of my city getting rallied and we're going to be talking about some of the steps that I uh, took in anticipation of this rally. This was a rally that I knew was coming and I took it on purpose. This was not for any, you know, it's not like I was offline or anything like that. Um, I, it was mightiest governor and I wanted to just see how well my city defense could defend against a real actual rally coming at my city now before we go any further I just quick shout out to the gentleman himself who hit my city man I have never talked to him before uh, his max power is 111 million his power at the time of hitting my city was a little bit higher than it is right now my entire kdk has been fighting for the last like two three days I don't even I've lost track at this point but this is the guy who's gonna be hitting my city in the video so I figured it was only right to kind of shine that spotlight really quick so just some backstory as to the situation that we're in right now okay you can see in the top right corner that this was a couple of hours after reset like I said it was the first day of kill event for Constantine so what I wanted to do is I saw that at this level 4 pass uh, 53 was kind of giving us some fun right we were kind of all over there um, and at this point in the kvk they had not pushed uh, well they pushed out and we pushed them back to the pass um, and so I saw that there was some fighting going on up here and I decided to teleport over to get some kills for kill event right and I knew that when I teleported over obviously I was no longer on Alliance territory you can see that buns is the owner of the territory here and I'm in Rick's obviously so I knew that there was a the chance of me getting rallied I didn't actually think that it would happen uh, and the reason for that is because we when I first teleported over here uh, my kingdom had more presence than they did and they were kind of just popping through the pass hitting us and then running back um, and they did that for a while so I figured hey I'll teleport over if I get rallied I get rallied but I figured it probably wasn't gonna happen if we had field presence we could kind of swarm the rally so yeah it just didn't seem like something that was very probable but you know I knew that there was the chance and I figured if it was gonna happen I was just gonna let it happen just to see what would what what the outcome would be so let's let's rewind here this is the rally when it first left the player city so let's go ahead and just watch this back we'll just we'll play it back and that right there that right there I'm gonna pause that was the biggest mistake of the entire thing right because let's rewind a few seconds notice my buffs I do not have war frenzy I don't have war frenzy so as soon as the rally launched instinctively I decided to scout it and as soon as I scouted it I I regretted it because I knew that the enemy alliance uh, and the enemy kingdom had not used their imprison king skill so we're gonna get into that in a little bit but that was my biggest mistake because my goal here was to take a rally my goal was not to get zeroed okay so if you are going to take a rally in your city just know that you can let this the rally hit you and you will not get war frenzy unless you scout it or attack somebody around it or you bring your troops outside the city to swarm it keep that in mind okay nine seconds into the video and we are at my biggest mistake of the entire video okay i got lucky and we'll talk about that in a minute but just keep that in mind huge 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 mistake do not make that mistake and you can see here i immediately realized what i did and you're gonna see me try to find my scout in the open field so that way i can bring it back because i didn't want them to notice that i scouted them see i immediately was like you know what it's not even worth it just bring the scout back hopefully they won't see that i scouted them so that way they won't know that i have war frenzy on now having war frenzy on does help you slightly because you do get the small buff that it does bring your city but if you get imprisoned and zeroed it doesn't matter so I highly recommend do not do it do, do do not do that if you're not sure if they've used in prison uh if you know that they have and it's fine then definitely you want to you want to scout it so that way you have some information but that was a huge error on my part so let's take a look here the rally is coming in hot now at this point I realized that our field presence was not hitting that rally it was doing nothing they were just watching it fly by and I was freaking out let me lower this uh the speakers here I don't think you have to actually hear me typing and stuff like that I was in a discord call with some friends um we see some swarming going on here but the rally is just moving way 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 too fast for um them to really react so you see that I have general here I made sure that I had a title before taking this rally because you absolutely want as many buffs as you can and this was the moment of truth I 
was waiting to see if they would cancel it and of course they didn't so now i realize i have the um let me pause it here i i have war frenzy i'm getting hit by a 90 plus 100 million plus power player and there's no allies around here that are swarming the rally so now i realize i am committed there's not like i can't do anything about this this is happening right this is i might get zeroed here and i was really really nervous about this interaction so let's keep playing it so the army hits my city and I'm waiting, I'm waiting. I'm seeing that attack damage, that normal attack. I'm obviously not doing nearly as much back to him. And boom, the first skill shot, the first skill shot, 103,000. Absolutely ridiculous. I, <laughs> that, that was insane. When that hit, I was like, oh no, bro. I messed up. So Edward destroys me there. You see Esong rain down. Um, I think that was his Esong hit me for the 60k. His Esong dealed cr crazy damage, right? But Edward just hits like a freaking truck. Right now, I'm taking a look at my inventory. I'm trying to see what's going on. I'm looking at my hospital to see how fast it was. My hospital was clear, okay? My hospital was clear, and we're a few seconds in. We are only a few seconds into this rally, and I have 90,000 in my hospital. So if we were not in KVK, um, I would have taken crazy deads from this uh, because only a few seconds in and I would have had almost a quarter of my hospital full. Let's keep playing uh, the video. Um, now I'm wondering like, can I heal during? Obviously you can't heal during a rally. Um, so boom, right there. I'm at half health already. Almost. I'm almost at half health and we're only a few seconds in maybe 120,000 already getting absolutely wrecked. So right now I'm starting to sweat because I'm like, okay. I actually can't afford to uh, get zeroed. So now I'm just waiting to see if they imprison me because they know that they have a super favorable matchup and there's still none of my friends over here helping me out. So I'm at half health. He's at like three quarters or something like that. Absolutely insane. And we're going to talk about the build that I have on my Martel. And we'll talk about maybe if Esong was the proper secondary for this. Probably not, but maybe, I don't know. We'll talk about that. So let's keep playing it. You'll notice I do have a rune as well. So it's not like, uh, we're at 150,000. It's not like I had no buffs. I had every buff possible. So here I am. I'm typing in chat. Uh, I'm trying to figure out like what's actually, what am I going to do? I can't random teleport. I tried to, uh, I tried to chicken out of the rally to see if I could random somewhere. I knew it wouldn't work, but I just wanted to see what would happen. It doesn't let you random. I couldn't bubble because of the war frenzy. So I couldn't even chicken out. I was trapped in this rally waiting to see if I was going to get imprisoned. So here we are. I am taking crazy amounts of damage and I just keep checking my hospital, keep checking my hospital just to see how much I'm already at like a third of my hospital almost. Um, and right now is where things start to get a little bit closer. Um, and, and as far as like health goes, I finally got him down to half health, but we already see that I can't even, I don't have the resources to even heal my hospital at this point. Um, so I'm actually holding on at this point decently, which has, which was nice. It was a nice surprise. I'm staying in that red. We're chilling. I see uh Tiristana over here, uh, just kind of watching, seeing what's going to happen, seeing how this is going to play out. And I keep checking the hospital. We're getting, we're up to 260. Again, remember I was absolutely empty. And now we start to see some reinforcements are coming to my aid. Now I didn't actually ask anything anybody to help me with this rally because I knew going in that this was my fight and there's avocado down in the bottom um, I'm holding on still in the red getting him down to maybe a, a little more than a third at this point and um, we're, we're seeing what can happen so at this point I knew this was a mistake. I should not have taken this rally. Um, you saw my power at the beginning of the video. We're down almost like 2 million or something like that. Absolutely crazy. I'm still waiting for the imprison, by the way. Uh, and so we're holding on. We're holding on. Uh, I'm trying to hit him with as much skill damage as I can from Esong, but it's just not making a difference. I'm at 300,000 already, almost half of my hospital. And there he is, my boy Avocado, coming to my rescue, about to T5 swarm this rally down to try to save my 
resources so if you guys didn't know um, if you actually lose a rally and you get burned you will lose your resources that rally will take your resources so uh, avocado comes in at t5 swarms him and that's when tiristana decides that they're going to swarm as well the ethel fleds are debuffing we have uh, barco over here debuffing so there's a lot happening right now and this rally is uh is going down much much faster now that i have some allies supporting me again i didn't ask them to do this but avocado i was in uh i was in discord chat with him and he was like yeah i'm not gonna let you burn so he he decided to swarm it with t5s and there's the fate changer I wanted to buy it, but I, I just couldn't do it, man. I just couldn't do it. I know it's going to break your heart if you're watching this and you're a big spender. It's going to break your heart. But they canceled the rally because they saw that they were actually starting to lose the exchange. And uh, it is what it is. Maybe they could have held on a little bit longer. I was only at a very minuscule amount of health, um, but they decide to cancel. And that is that. So we lose a lot. I decide to taunt them, say thanks, and then quickly quickly on the arc use your random teleport so they don't imprison you so out i was gone i was out like a light i did not want to take the risk of getting imprisoned and taking a second rally because i knew that my hospitals were super full and a second rally would absolutely destroy my city so i didn't want to take that risk so i ran them out of there as fast as possible i had to say thanks so that way they knew that it was uh, on purpose and also just to be kind of a jerk right i shared the uh, report with them so let's look at the actual report here okay i have this favorited and again the battle log is no longer available because this was four days ago at this point almost five days ago um so 1.1 i'm sorry 1.7 million down to his 829 down keep in mind though i actually took no deads from this exchange i got 330,000 in my hospital so half filled the hospital they got 184,000 deads so i actually killed their troops and i didn't take any deads myself boys so you know what i'm gonna take that as a victory and I actually 100% owe that to the rally getting swarmed. I'm not even going to pretend like I could have done as well if I didn't have that help right at the end. So you can see my troops versus the troops in the rally. That's an absolutely massive rally right there. They had almost three times the amount of troops remaining than I did. So that was pretty, pretty bad. So again, I really wish I could share the battle log, but these are the troop buffs. Obviously, I have more infantry than anything. This is a 5554 Martel. So I could have used that extra counter attack damage that would have helped a lot, plus the extra stats on getting him expertise. But I just don't want to use my universals on him, man. I have enough to expertise him right now if I wanted to, but I just don't want to do it. So anyway, this is what we were working with here. Um, obviously far outclassed by this player in uh, from the from 53 um so let's take a look here at uh what i was doing um with my buffs so i had a seven percent health rune that i grabbed right before it happened i had general as you could see so general gives you five percent attack five percent defense so i got a ten percent buff in my stats um i don't actually know if the other player had a title probably honestly but i i really doubt it it's not like he needed it needed it if he didn't have one so i had war frenzy buff i had the rune i had general i also uh had i think maybe a five percent defense buff on i don't remember yeah i had that five percent defense buff i was going to pop the ten percent but i actually just forgot uh because i grabbed the rune literally like right before the rally actually happened uh because they had a rally then they canceled it and they had another rally then they canceled it so that's why i was thinking they probably weren't going to hit me anyway but i grabbed a rune just to be sure so yeah i only had the five percent um defense buff that's definitely something that i would change now let's talk a little bit about things that i should have done differently okay things that i should have done differently in this scenario um i was debating with my alliance members who i should have on my wall at this time um i was pretty convinced that martel would have been the best primary that i could have in this scenario but i wasn't sure who i should have as secondary on my wall i decided to go for isong because he has higher damage and uh if i got hit by enemies like trying to swarm me or something like that the aoe would have been really really nice but i was pretty sure that i don't know i feel like sun tzu might have been a better option and the reason for this is because he also has some rage regeneration not as much as isong does but he also takes seven percent less damage for the garrison on his second talent and 
he hits 10 percent damage reduction on top of that so i feel like sun tzu might have been a little bit better as far as tankiness goes and he still does some aoe he still does the rage regen he still you know there's just a lot that he does so i'm thinking that sun tzu might have been a better option i don't know if you guys have more insight you can comment down below but i decided to go for isong now the biggest mistake that i made in this video uh, or for this rally rather was the talent build that i had on my charles martel now as far as equipment goes i actually had the best possible equipment that i could put on him so for the helmets i actually had the um what is this the abyssal visage now i know that um this isn't something that you would normally put on a martel but it does have a ton of attack for all troop types which is exactly what you want when you're getting rallied the reason for this is because you're using all the troops in your garrison not just a single troop type so i had that as my helmet for my chest plate i had the i think it was the infantry breastplate but it was or it actually might have been this i don't i think it was the yeah, i think it was commander's heavy armor is what i had on my chest plate um for my for my gloves i had seth's brutality for my legs i had eternal knight so this is actually a lot of stats on this right this is kind of a lot of stats for my weapon i believe i had sakura fubuki it is the best weapon that i have now i could have potentially used gatekeeper shield to just get more health but i opted for the more stats in general with the sakura so that's what i did for that and then for boots i think i just put windswept or something i don't really remember uh the boots aren't a huge deal right uh, and i don't have any accessories so there were no accessories so that's what i had for my equipment it was pretty high tier equipment uh the chest obviously wasn't that great the boots weren't that great um it is what it is that's just the best that i could do but i didn't forget right i didn't forget to change the equipment on my martel but as far as mistakes go my mistake was the talent build okay the talent build this is this was not the talent build this was my talent build okay absolutely terrible for taking a single rally this is not a good talent build whatsoever when it comes to taking one ultra powerful rally okay and the reason for that is because i went all the way over here and got know thy enemy and the reason that i wanted to test this build right because i knew that i had this build as well and i think this build i i think would have done way better personally i think this would have done way better i still would have gotten absolutely melted let's just be 100 percent clear here okay i was far outclassed by that player um way more power than me better commander uh, probably better equipment all around so so either way i would have gotten absolutely decimated but i think that this would have been a better option than what i tried here but i wanted to see how bad it would be okay and the reason that this build is not optimal is because know thy enemy only works if you're surrounded meaning i would have had to gotten hit by at least two players for this to activate and this it was a possibility but since that they, they had to come into my territory across the pass and we had some field presence it wasn't likely okay i also wasted these points adamantine walls is an actual waste right watchtower defense totally useless in this scenario the watchtower you can take a look at the report the watchtower damage was like 50,000, right? Which is completely just utterly bad. Um, let's pull this up here. Watchtower damage, 50,000. The watchtower does virtually nothing when it comes to your city getting rallied. Okay. I don't even know. It's literally like they need to buff the watchtower. I think, I don't know. So these two, that's six talent points that were completely wasted. Now there also was some other things here, like health and attack and things of, along those lines, which are good but what i could have done is i could have literally just used this build and yeah i would have had some healing so i probably would have taken more sev wounds but you saw that i wouldn't have taken any deads regardless because my hospital was empty and i wasn't planning on actually taking another rally if i could avoid it now we also had a desperate elegy which this would have been very very good <clears throat> right at the end of the rally because look after you get reduced to 30 percent strength you greatly increase rage regeneration for the next 20 seconds which means my e song would have been popping off like crazy i would have had way more shields from my martel which would have absorbed more damage and desperate elegy just would have been a much better option right i want to know what would have happened if this was my defense but unfortunately it wasn't the only real trade-off here is that i would have had one less point in normal attack damage which is only half a percent nothing crazy so basically what i'm telling you guys is if you're getting hit by a player that's way out of your league um use the right talent build okay this is not what you want if you're taking a single rally now keep in mind this actually probably would be better 
if you're going to get surrounded right now you could also make the argument that nowhere to turn is something that i also probably shouldn't have in this build because the extra rage is really only good if you're getting swarmed because it's every time the city is attacked so the more you're getting attacked the more rage you get and if you're only getting hit by one rally then you're only getting six rage every time so i don't know i still think that this is this is a good investment even if you're only getting hit by one rally but just be aware okay if you are in kvk for example and you random teleport into a brand new zone and there's the possibility of your city getting swarmed or double rallied then maybe this is a better option but in the scenario where you know you're only going to get hit by one rally and you'll have the opportunity to leave after that then this is definitely a better option i just don't see how it couldn't be so after i random teleported i go over back to my my home kingdom to kind of lick my wounds and as i'm trying to teleport away this stupid tutorial came out of nowhere that says we took huge losses and they were saying like rest assured allies are on the way to help or whatever um i don't know what causes that to happen if that happens every time you get like rallied or if that only happens like your first time you get rallied but uh it basically sends you resource assistance from uh, like i think 30 different or 10 different uh, members of your alliance something like that um it doesn't actually take resources away from those players it's just kind of like an in in-game sort of thing it's a way of compensating you for kind of taking a huge loss now obviously i'm having trouble here trying to teleport to safety this is the spot that i was in before i went to go fight and this stupid level 31 barbarian just wouldn't let me teleport back to safety absolutely infuriating so this is what it looks like uh these are all the resources that the game just gave me for free for basically taking that rally and you can see i got a ton of healing speed ups as well so um i again i actually have no idea if this is like a one-time thing like the first big rally you take they give you all this stuff or um if this happens every once in a while whenever your city gets hit and takes severe losses i'm not sure uh, but yeah you can see here um, i start to heal up the hospital and there's really not much else here i just keep taking a look at that battle report and uh yeah that's pretty much it so hopefully you guys found this interesting i want you guys to comment down below do you think sun tzu would have been a better option on my wall than Yi song a i know Yi song a is deals more damage and he has maybe a little bit more rage regen if we're talking about a single target he also increases the attack of archers by a lot for three seconds which is pretty good considering i'm going to be fighting with all the archers in my entire city i'm not really sure um i feel like the attack of the garrison isn't as good as the damage taken reduction uh by the garrison that sun tzu offers so i don't really know i want you guys to comment down below give me some insight it would be really really useful anyway guys if you made it all the way to the end of this video hopefully you will consider giving it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you're new around here click that bell to be notified the next time that i upload a rise of kingdoms video of course comment down below any like i said tell me what do you think esong or sun tzu but also if you have any questions about taking a city rally or anything else that you think that i should have done differently in the scenario again comment down below are you surprised with the outcome of that rally do you think it sh i should have taken it better given i have like i even had legendary leg equipment like i i don't know i thought i was as prepared as i could be maybe i needed a better rune and a better buff but let me know if you think that i took this rally terribly or if you think i took it better than you thought because it's a hundred million power player i would love to hear your thoughts as always my social media links are in the description below so make sure you go down there and follow me on instagram twitter join my discord and follow me over on twitch where i live stream rise of kingdoms at least once every single week and finally there's a link in the description below to download rise of kingdoms for free for your pc or your mac you can play rise of kingdoms on your computer it's a program called blue stacks that's how i'm playing here you see a lot of the sponsored creators playing it that way as well you can see their mouse on the screen i experience fewer crashes than like maybe an older phone might so it's my favorite way to play rise of kingdoms it's just it's just intuitive to me so like i said it's free you lose nothing by giving it a try so link is in the description below with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace